hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well today in this video we will see how the FIFO costing method works in new dynamics 365 business central okay so the very first thing is that uh, I will go to the item master and uh, I have already created a new master here seven double zero six three and if i look at here this is my new item card currently there is no inventory available for this item and uh, the basic thing in order to make an item of fifo item is that we have to keep the costing method of that item card as fifo or fifo so fifo means first in first out okay rest of the things I keep it standard only so this is my item card now we will uh, do the purchase of this item with different cost and see how the system behave afterwards so first of all to make the purchase invoice I will go to the search button and type here as purchase invoice and if you do not want to type here using the search function you can always use the department page here click here and here you will find all the functionalities and the modules available so because I have to create a purchase invoice so I will select the purchase invoice link here and uh, I have already created the three purchase invoices uh, with same item which we have just created and but of different cost so if I look at this invoice this is also contains uh, the item number which we have seen before and here the cost of that item is 10 so this means when we post this purchase invoice the inventory will be up by 1 and the cost of that inventory will be 10 and if I look at the second purchase invoice then we will find the same item here the cost will be 1 but the uh, the quantity will be 1 but the cost of this invoice is 20 ok and now if I look at the third purchase invoice I also place the same item here also but the price or the cost of this item in this invoice is 30 so this means uh, that we are purchasing three uh, we are purchasing the same item against three invoice with different cost okay so let's say if I post this invoice first uh, no I will post this invoice first I'll select that click on post and it is asking me do you want to post the invoice I said yes and now it is posting the invoice so guys I have posted the first invoice of this item and the cost of that item was 30 okay so now I will post the second invoice with cost 20 and if I say yes and it is posted now now I'll post the last invoice with, diff, uh, with the cost of 10 and this is how we are finished with the posting of our purchase invoice now if I go to my item master again and search for my item 70063 so we will find that the inventory is up by 3 because we posted three purchase invoice of one one quantity each okay now I'll click that and it will open up the item ledger entry so if we see it is showing us that the cost is 10 20 and 30 okay so now we have three in items uh, we have three inventory available for this item but with different cost so what we need to do is that we have to post 
the invoice uh, who's the sales invoice and see how and what cost will be taken by the system so to do that I'll click this button again and select the sales invoice so I have already created a new sales invoice okay for this item so I am selling this item to the customer number 10,000 and I am selling only one quantity of unit price 100 so because uh, I have purchased this item for 10, 20 and 30 but now I am selling this item for 100 so this means uh, I am already in the profit now I have to check that how much profit I will get by selling this one quantity because uh, I don't know whether the quantity whether the cost by the system will be taken as 10 or 20 or 30 so if the cost will be taken by the system as is 10 then I will get the profit of 90 and if the cost will be taken by the system as 20 then I will get the profit of 80 and so on like that so because we are using the costing method as FIFO so let's see what cost will be taken by the system when we post the sales invoice okay so remember this is the unit price and not the unit cost and we can sell an item of uh, any unit price based on uh, whatever uh, the profit we would like to make from our customer so this is how uh, we have already prepared our sales invoice the only thing is that we have to post this invoice now so let me post this and click on yes so it is now posting the sales invoice and now the invoice is posted and it is showing is that the invoice is posted and move to the posted sales invoice window do you want to open the posted invoice I will say yes and uh, now this is my posted invoice sales invoice card and I'll just click on navigate it is not shown here now this is the navigate and uh, this is the navigate so I'll just click here and let's see what is the cost taken by the system when we posted this invoice so these three So these three entries belong to the sales invoice but these two entries belongs to the inventory cost which is reduced from our uh, chart of account. So if we see it took the cost as 30. So uh, because why it took the cost of 30 and not 10 and 20. So the reason is very simple because we have posted the purchase invoice of unit cost 30 first so as the FIFO costing method also suggests that it means first in first out so whatever the inventory whatever the inventory will come in our uh, system with any cost so it will out also first so because we purchased uh, an item of unit cost 30 first then 10 and 20 so that's why the cost uh, taken by the system against the sales invoice was is 30 okay so now next time when I post uh, the second sales invoice system will take the cost of 20 and in the third invoice system will take the cost as 10 so just to verify it I'll create another sales invoice and I will use the same item here also and uh, type here as 70063 and 
type here quantity one now i'm selling this item for cost 200 and click on post so it has already posted the sales invoice so now if i check i will find you will see that the cost will be taken by the system as 20 okay so see 15 plus 5 is 20 okay these are the direct cost entries direct cost entries are the inventory entries on the sales invoice so if we see this the cost is considered by the system is 20 so when we post the first sales invoice the cost was taken as 30 and now when we post the second sales invoice the cost was taken by the system is 20 so this is how FIFO costing method works that whatever the quantity uh, uh, whatever the quantity with whatever the cost will be uh, posted by the system is considered first and so on like that so i hope uh, you like this video and now you uh, understand and now you got the knowledge of how the fifo costing method works uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and please share this video and please subscribe to my channel also thank you so much